What's up guys? Um, today I'm going to show you how to put in a 240 volt socket. Sort of. So my plan is I'm going to get a TIG welder here pretty soon. Um, and I also want to be able to use a plasma cutter. So all these things require a 240 volt or 220 volt um, connection uh, here in the garage. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to put a plug right here. Um, but for now, I'm simply going to use a block off plate because I'm not really sure what type of plug I need yet because it depends on what brand welder you buy. Some of them are four uh, prong, some are three prong. So inside of here we're going to be installing a 40 amp breaker and what you want to do is on the standard house panel, each of these slots uh, is about 20 amps. So if you need a 40 amp breaker it's going to take up both of these so you can see how that's going to fit right there. And that still leaves me two more 20 amp uh, breakers I can put in there. Um, as far as mounting it in the wall, we're going to use this guy. Um, this is a special box that will basically we'll cut a hole through the drywall, we'll slot it in, and we'll hammer it into the stud. We're going to use the block off plate, standard block off plate for now. This is 6 3 wire. This is the outdoor one because the Loza head didn't have the indoor one. The outdoor one is flat and has more sheathing on it. The indoor one is round and uh, has less of a protective layer on it. So what you have in here is you have a white, a red, and a black. So each of these is going to carry 120 volts in a different phase. So um, <clears throat> together this makes 240. This is our neutral, this is our ground. Um, and when I take out the panel, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Uh, so we're going to hook up all of this up on that side. But down here in the box, we're just going to leave uh, the wires taped up until I know exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. So first step is we're going to pull off that box and before we do any electrical work I'll kill the power to the house. Um, but for running the wires like that you don't need to kill the power, nothing's going to happen. Uh, but of course this is high voltage, high current, you can kill yourself, blah 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 blah, don't sue me, it's not my fault. Make sure you know what you're doing before you get into this. Uh, just for perspective, I emailed a couple of the local uh, electricians and I got quotes between $400 and $500 to do the work we're about to do right now, which is pretty fucking ridiculous considering this is $8, $2, $1, about $15. Bucks. Um, it's about $4 a foot. I bought, or $3 a foot, I bought five feet. Um, obviously, you don't need five feet for what I'm doing, but I bought a little extra for some other projects. Um, so you can get this all done under uh, 25 or 30 bucks. Alright, so let's do it. So here's what this looks like without everything on it. Um, so you have two phases of 120 coming in here and here. And um, if you look right here, there's little slots. And those slots sit on those little slots right in there. Uh, this is your ground right here. So all of your ground wires plug in here. All of your neutral plugs in here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut out a hole uh, basically just right here for our box to go into. Uh, we're going to punch out one of these uh, circle divot things and run our wire through that and we should be good to go. So the hole's a bit raggedy because I don't have a proper saw but that's all you really need and now what we're going to do is we're going to punch a hole up through here and so that we can pass the wire down. Then we can uh, put this box in and then hook up the uh, breaker and we'll be good to go. So there we go. Now all that's left is to cut off a good chunk of this wire, probably somewhere around here, um, so that we have enough length to reach everywhere, maybe like even right over here, so we can reach the ground. Uh, and then put in the breaker and good to go. So a couple of notes. Make sure you have some really nice cutters because this is not going to work with Harbor Freight shit. I have this nice pair of snap-ons, but even they are uh, hardly a match so I ended up having to use this on top of this like that to cut through the actual wires themselves. So now that you have this what you're looking at is one phase, uh, two phase, neutral and ground. So the ground is going to go over to the ground bus, the neutral is going to go to the neutral bus um, and these two are actually going to go into the breaker. So before we do that we got to turn off the electricity uh, so I don't kill myself and we'll get started. All right, as you can see, the breaker is off. We got everything wired in. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. So this main connection is sending 
2 times 120, 240, out through this red and black wire down to this plug. This is our neutral wire, and you can see I had to split it up into uh, some of the threads of the wire because the holes aren't big enough. This is our ground, and it's just chilling down here. And our wires come out here, and so when we're ready to put in a plug, I can just take this cover off, put on a plug, flip the circuit breaker on, and then we have power. And to prove we have power, um, I'm going to show you guys with a voltmeter here in a second uh, that everything is in fact live. But uh, that's pretty much it. All we have left after this is really just to punch out the holes for the breaker and the panel, and we're good to go. So when you're measuring AC, you want to make sure the voltmeter is set to AC. What you're measuring is you're measuring between the neutral and the return. So here's a random, uh, random circuit, and you can see 120 volts AC. So if we go here, 120 volts, 120 volts. Perfect. So these two together make 240 volts, and for now we're going to just turn them off. Uh, and that's it. That's how you put in a circuit. So while my work may not be as pretty as a professional electrician's, um, 50 bucks versus 450 bucks is definitely a hell of a steal. Thanks, guys.